Today I'm going to go over how to set up a UPS with an Open Media Vault 5 instance. So I got this UPS a while back and it's been running pretty fine so I thought I would go over how to set this up. Um, this is a APC UPS. It's rated for 600 VA which is not the same thing as uh, watts. So if you look at this data sheet here it says it's 600 VA rated for or 330 watts according to them. Um, so when I did some research into um, UPSs, I found that you need to figure out how much power your whatever your devices you're plugging into this UPS draws. I figured out that my server pulls less than six, uh, 330 watts um, on average, even on pretty high loads. So I thought this uh, UPS would be pretty good uh, good enough for me. Um, another thing you need to watch out for is when you're plugging in your um, uh, UPS. Um, the first thing you need to do is connect this wire to the wall and then uh, you need to connect this USB cable that's coming out of, out of the back into your UPS and you also need to plug in um, your power supply on your server into one of these first five ports that says battery backup plus surge protector not into these last two ports that are just for surge protection. Um, uh, here's a closer look. It says battery plus search instead of search. So once you set that up and you press the on button, you should be ready to go. Um, uh, so you go navigate to your Open Media Vault um, web UI, and then you should go to plugins. And then once in plugins, you can search for NUT, which is the Open Media Vault Network UPS tool plugin. You click on this checkbox, and then you click install. Uh, mine's grayed out because it's already been in, uh, I already installed it. Um, so once you install it, you should see under services, you should see this new UPS um, tab pop up. When you click on it, it takes you to this page. Um, so to enable the UPS settings, you have to click enable. Um, the mode should be standalone. Uh, and then the identifier is just the name of the UPS that you give it. Uh, these are the two configurations that are required. There's the driver configuration, which basically tells the UPS uh, that the UPS information is coming through USB. And the port, this is basically saying to automatically find the port that the data is coming from. Uh, if you need more driver configurations, there's uh, documentation here explaining what each of the fields mean and what you need to set. There's two different shutdown modes. The one that I'm using is UPS goes on battery mode, which is basically when the power goes out and UPS goes on battery, I wait for 30 seconds and then the UPS will send the shutdown signal um, for the machine. The other mode is when UPS reaches low battery. So in this mode, the UPS will turn off or the power will turn off. And then once the uh, UPS reaches low battery, which I believe is 10% on my UPS, it will send the sh shutdown signal. So it will work as long as possible. Uh, I'm going to just reset that and then then you after you do all this you had to click save and then I didn't change any settings so it's not changing anything. Uh, and then it'll ask if you want to apply the changes you click apply. So once that's done you're pretty much set. Uh, you can go to services tab and then you click on the UPS tab uh, to see information about your UPS. So it shows you stuff like um, your runtime and your charge and your manufacturer, etc. And then you have also have some graphs based on that data too. Yep, that's pretty much it.